Well, it's that time. We've been missing Ryan out on set, but he is hanging out with Michael Needler, local grocer at Needler's Fresh Market. And now we're talking a little bit about the Lent season and some options we have. What's going on, guys? Yeah, that's right, Jill. You know, Lent is upon us, and uh, not just for Lent. You've got these options year-round, but let's dive into all these seafood options. Mike, what do you have here? Oh, uh, well, before we start talking seafood, Ryan, how does a mermaid wash her tail? Uh, I don't know. How does a mermaid wash her tail? She uses Tide. Nice. Oh. Dad to dad, that was There really you go. Good. There yeah. you go. Okay. All right, all right so great. let's talk about food. Yeah. I like this season because seafood is one of my favorite food groups. Okay. Um, it's right up there with potato chips and guacamole. Oh, yes. All right. the classic food groups. All the classic right. groups. Yeah. Um, let's start with every Friday in our stores, we have fried cod for $6.99. Nice. Delicious, uh, healthy lunch option. But more important than that, we've got a lot of other things that you can do. I think some people try to break out of their comfort zone when yep. they're when they're trying different seafood options. I know you said earlier, sort of not your forte is cooking seafood. I'm, I'm not the best. I do enjoy seafood. Right. Like a, my, my wife Lauren cooks a great salmon filet. Um, I grew up with relatives in Florida, and so we ate a lot of shrimp cocktail and all that. But it's just not the main thing on the on the dining option. Well, the if you're not going to be eating any like pond catfish or anything like yeah. that, we've got your <laughs> we got you covered. Yeah. This is uh, we've talked about it before on the show. Ready, chef, go. Mm -hmm. You come in. We've got salmon, asparagus, shallot butter. Boom. You throw it in the oven or microwave. It's like between nine and ten dollars, depending yeah. on the size of the fish. Look at this price right here. Um, and uh, it's super easy. But we have a, lo a lot of other seafood options. Okay. Uh, one of my newest favorites that we we brought on here, I'll give you a little taste. Okay. Is this Bang Bang seafood shrimp uh, oh, nice. and s the pasta. Oh, that is delicious. Yeah, That's delicious. Really, right? really good. Yeah. That's made in our deli. Mm. We've got a Cajun shrimp uh, salad. Okay. We've got a seafood salad with crab. Oh, nice. Um, Looks like some tuna salad some over tuna here. Some tuna salad. Too. That's our signature tuna. Uh, okay. Tuna salad. That's going to be in the case all the time in our yeah. deli, and our signature seafood salad. Man. So why don't you dig in on some of that? Okay. I Great. feel like I'm going to try uh, the cod sandwich. Okay. This Every is Friday. a fried cod. We've got a. I think we've got some tartar on there. That's a really strong tuna salad right there. <laughs> Way to go to Chef Maggie in the deli over there. Also, look at the size of these crab cakes. Delicious. Huge. All right. Well, now we're not going to be able to say anything. Yeah, right. <laughs> we're just stuffing our faces with seafood. Yep. I like to celebrate my seafood dinners yeah. with a white wine. And this one, you can tell, is really good because of the top. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, screw top. That's that's actually big right now. But it's a New Zealand sad block. Yeah. One of my favorites. Got a great option there at Needler's. Cheers. Yeah, cheers to you. I get to well. wash down my cod. Uh-huh. Very tasty. But well, don't take my word for it. What you want to do is you want to come into our store and see these great guys because they have the hookup. They know all about what's in this case. They set it up every day. They break it down every day. Clean, healthy, fresh seafood. And uh, not only that, but they're great chefs too. So they're going to help you tell exactly how to cook it. Love it. So come on down to Needler's. Uh, they've got some great options for the Lent season or year round if you're a seafood fan. Uh, do you want to do the toss back to yeah, Jillian? Yeah, so Jillian, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for visiting us in the store. And uh, back to you. Nice. That was good. Wow. I feel like Ryan has been coaching him. I love it. Thank you guys. Thank you for all those good ideas. And this is a great time to talk to our next experts here. So we have Aaron Christie, founder of Indie Roof Company and their COO, Adam Kaminsky. Hi gentlemen, how are Hello. you? Good, good to be here. Perfect time to have you here because we were talking about today's windy. I know. And this is a time really for your industry, you have to pay close attention, right? Yeah, yeah, they, uh, today, the last couple weeks, it's been really windy out here. It has been. And we've had a lot of calls from shingles blowing off today, in particularly, we're already getting calls, so it's funny that we're here talking about this. It's yeah. perfect timing because year round, it's one of those things where a roof is such an investment. It's such an important part of the house. So even during the winter months, you guys are busy. Yeah, yeah it's one of, one of your first lines of defense, of course, is, is your roof. And so we get a lot of questions. Uh, people see our crews out and still putting shingles on in the winter time, and that's because we work with a very special polymer modified shingle. And that enables us to still put roofs on in the winter, which is a uh, also an impact resistant shingle and, and great for our consumers. Yes. Well, let's talk about maybe the benefits of that specific type of shingle. Yeah. So um, some of the benefits are number one, we can still put roofs on. One of the one of the 
tough things for a customer is, I need a roof but I can't install it right now, mm -hmm. obviously that would be putting them in a bad place. So we want to make sure that we've got uh, manufacturer options to do win uh, ro winter roofing, excuse me, and uh, so we're able to do that through yep. polymer modified shingles. Yep, That's and then nice. you got their impact resistant. They're actually made from recycled products as well. Oh, so yeah? like uh, putting on a normal size roof is like the same as planting three trees in your yard. It's crazy. Oh yeah. wow. Yeah. Okay, I wouldn't even think of it that way, but that's a good way to I put know. it. And the thing is, you know, insulation is so important. I was just telling them in the commercial, I'm looking at my bill now and I'm like, oh, every time. We all so, are. Yes. We all are. Everybody. It's like, what is this now? So insulation is really such a big part of that. Yeah, this is something we just started including in our offerings because so many people were reaching out to us. So um, now is a great time to have your attic inspected to make sure that you do have sufficient insulation. Yeah. What happens over time, you get that insulation installed when your house is new and it begins to settle and it compresses and so you lose the R value or the, the thickness of the shingle insulating the home. Okay. And so what we can come out and do is we come out, we pull some measurements in the attic, we look to see if it needs more insulation, and if it does, of course, we've got packages that can suit any home. Yeah. And it's weird, we wouldn't know, it's like over 90% of homes are under insulated because that happens. Really? Yeah. yeah. Over 90%? Yes. So there's a good chance, whoever's watching right now, <laughs> your home is under insulated. Yeah. yeah. And you could do some things to help out with the bill, to just really help with the cold months this time of year, and even those windy days. So yeah. I know for you guys, Guys, you're always busy, yeah, but it's yeah. a good reminder for people that windy, winter, whatever it is, this could be a good time to check it out and see what you're working with. Yeah, absolutely. Taking care of small problems helps you not have to deal with big problems. And so yes. that's why we're always, hey, let us come out and do an inspection. If there's no damage, we'll tell you there's no damage or no yeah. issues, um, but at least catching those small problems, which again, can prevent the big problems from happening. Absolutely, and I'm sure that's rewarding for you guys to be a part of that process. Yeah, it's, it's great. Uh, like we always try to be completely transparent with the whole process too, because yeah. we have our guys take photo reports of the entire property, not just whatever we're looking at, but they check everything and then send those over so you can see exactly what we see without having to climb on your roof. Exactly. Exactly. Uh -huh. Or yes. get in the attic. <laughs> we want to avoid that. I can't say I ever want to do that, so yeah. I'm appreciative of the work you do. Yeah, thank you. We have all the information right there on the screen. IndieRoofCompany.com. Might be a good time to check in with them on a windy day like today, and we appreciate you guys being here. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, it's that time for the Indie Now Pop Quiz. You guys can play along from over here, okay. just so you're ready. All right. And you guys at home. Gentlemen. It's our fun game where we do trivia. And take a look at this. Justin <laughs> Kohler is here, CBS for Traffic Anchor. And we're really excited to have you here, Justin. I'm we do, very excited. Yeah, we do want to take a moment to thank our sponsors. So people who help make our show possible. Thank you to Neither's Fresh Market. Thank you to Indie Roof Company you just heard from. Thank you to Sundown Gardens for our beautiful Indie Now Backyard and all of our guests. Now, Rye Guy, in the form of his doll and Lego, is here joining us. Do you okay. feel good about that? I do feel good. I I'm not sure what that's going to mean for me, but I'm, <laughs> I'm excited to see Felt Ryan here in, in Ryan Lego. You so. bring up a great point. Nobody's sure. Nobody knows. But we're really we're excited here, you're here, and we're going to get right into it. So, okay. Abby, question number one. Which actor narrates as an older Ted Mosby on the sitcom How I Met Your Mother? Wait, what? That's a tough one. Wait, do I, I've never seen have you ever, I've never mother. seen no, it either. Oh no, oh no. What was it? It's so far away I can't read it. <laughs> it is Bob Saget. He Bob, narrates Bob the Saget. older Ted Mosby. Oh, that's who Dang it was. It. Okay, we're off to a okay. pretty rough start. Yeah. All right, that's okay. Only up we're gonna here. come we back. This. We're gonna come back. <laughs> what else do we have? Which actor portrays Danny Zuko in the 78 hit film Grease? Oh, um, John Travolta. Correct. Travolta. Uh, yes. <laughs> One of the How two. do you say it? John, John Travolta. Travolta. <laughs> Sorry, Abby was like doing that. this I off to that, the side. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't Who's said his name in a long time. Didn't ironically he pronounce someone's name wrong at yes. an award show? Ironically. Well, okay. No, I don't feel there bad. You go. Anyway, <laughs> next question. What singer produced such a high demand for concert ticket sales that the Ticketmaster website temporarily shut down? Wait, Jillian. Oh. Taylor Swift. You Correct. You know this. You know this. Yeah. That one was easy. Don't let me win. Just yes. Was your wife like dying for tickets? She actually doesn't like Taylor Swift. Oh. <laughs> she actually is not a big Taylor Swift You're fan at all. You're breaking Kerrigan's heart. In I the know, right? There. She's like, Taylor Swift? No. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, it's all right. We get Last it. Last one. Yeah. Oh. Which celebrity wore a controversial dress made entirely out of raw meat at the oh. 2010 MTV? Did you know this? Lady Gaga. Correct. Yeah. I was going to say oh, Katy Perry, so I'm glad you asked. You got that. 